we've got some exciting things coming that we're going to be adding to our courses. Things like gamification, making the course interactive so your students or your visitors can really enjoy taking the class and we can keep their attention on taking your entire full course. One of the things that I do recommend is adding an assessment. This could be a quiz or it even could be a full-on test. The other thing that makes it also interactive is adding certificates, which we'll cover next. Let's go ahead and come in here to the module. So let's say I had a whole entire lesson and I wanted to add an assessment at the end. Let's go ahead and select add assessment and we'll call this quiz. It can be an assignment, meaning homework, or it could be an actual quiz. Let's look at quiz first. This is the most common. You'll see right here, it just created a quiz at the end of the course. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the quiz and right here we'll say the quiz requires a passing grade. We'll say yes, and we'll say we want them to get one question correct, 2% of the questions correct. Pass confirmation page, this could be something like you passed, you could even add an image, congratulations, or you could say you failed, please retake the quiz. So if they don't make the passing grade of, let's say, 80%, getting most of the questions 100%, 50%, or 10%, whatever it is, you want to make sure that you have your pass or fail. All right, we'll go and hit save. If we want to preview what this looks like, watch over here. I can hit preview and you'll see the preview of the quiz. It'll say start quiz right here. And you can see we haven't submitted our questions yet. You won't see it here because we haven't published it yet. So let's go ahead and finish our quiz. We want to add a question to the quiz. That's what they're going to ask or answer. Right here, we're going to go ahead and hit question. When you select the question, you can select a single choice or a multiple choice. So let's select a question. The question is, do you prefer short hair or long hair? Keep in mind, this is not an actual test that you would give somebody. These are just examples that you're thinking about what you want to do for your quiz. I'm going to say, do you prefer short hair or long hair? We'll add a choice right here and you'll see you have option one. This would be short hair and then add a choice. Option two would be long hair. And you can see inside this box, you can get really creative with your responses or your questions. You can get really creative with visual responses by adding an image or adding something fun into the short hair or long hair. And then we'll say option three is both. And then what we can do as well is depending on which one they get right or wrong, you can add an explanation. You can say, great. And now we've got an explanation based on the question that they have. I'm going to go ahead and hit save so you can see how you can easily continue to go on and add more and more questions. Let's do a single choice. The question could be, what hair color do you like? What hair color do you like? And then we're going to add a choice. It's red, blonde, brown, black. Then we'll go ahead and save. Now we've got two questions. So let's go ahead and hit preview and you can see what your quiz looks like. You can start the quiz. Here's the question. Do you prefer short hair or long hair? I would say short hair. Then over here, what color hair do you like? Let's say I say black or blonde. But if I wanted to select more, because we selected two, see how I can select two options. And on this one, I can only select one option. Submit. I won't be able to submit this on the demo. Let's go ahead and publish this quiz. That's why I couldn't see it. So we'll come over here. I'm going to take this quiz. We'll start the quiz. Let's say I select these two and I select this one. And now remember, once you hit publish, everybody can preview and see that inside the course. So what happens when they take the quiz and when they take the course? Let's go back to products. I'm going to show you where to view that quiz here in just a little bit. But let's go ahead and create a certificate. 